Chale Valley in northwestern Pakistan is prone to extreme climatic events. In 2010, flash floods impacted the valley and washed away houses and livelihood. Rehmat Shah and his family of nine children were deeply affected. They lost all their belongings due to the floods. We are seven brothers. We lived together here where our house used to be before the floods. It was a big house with nine rooms. We were left with nothing to eat when the floods washed away everything. Even before the floods, the valley dwellers suffered from poverty and food insecurity. They mainly depend on natural resources for their livelihood. They cultivate their crops on small terraces on steep hillsides, which are often insufficient to feed them. Due to deforestation, agricultural encroachments and unsustainable land and water management practices, the mountains have become fragile, dry and highly erosive. When in 2010, intense monsoon rains hit the area, the mountains couldn't absorb this huge amount of water. The flash floods not only destroyed the valley's infrastructure and livelihood, one-fifth of Pakistan came underwater, and 20 million people were directly affected. In order to respond to the needs of the affected population, SDC, together with World Food Programme, implemented an integrated food security and DRR project in the valley. Through a cash for work program, unskilled beneficiaries were engaged to work on upstream DRR structures to mitigate the risk of future flash floods. The major focus of this project is on upstream gully plugging through check damming as well as trope stabilization structures. Uh, these structures are being made with the simple stone masonry which is collected from the nearby locations and put it in a skilled way. And uh, these structures are later uh, reinforced to bioengineering mayors while planting uh, indigenous fruit trees like walnut, like uh, uh, black persimmon, which is uh, not only reinforcing and intacting uh, these structures, but it is also contributing to their long-term food security. Remat Shah is one of the beneficiaries involved in building check dams and stabilizing slopes. Gone are the days when I was a daily wager. Now I am happy to be a trained mason building check dams. I am not alone. Many others like me have acquired the skill. SDC ensured the quality of the work by engaging engineers and skilled labourers. Supervision by engineers has made us experts at our skill. It will keep us much safer from the danger of flood. We make good wages too. Indeed, the cash component of the disaster risk reduction project is very important to Remat, as he has to arrange for daily necessities for his nine children. Cash for work gives Remat the assurance to provide for his family. World Food Programme, cash for work as a primary aim is to uh, give the people the opportunity to get money to buy food. So those populations are food insecure and those populations are vulnerable and unskilled labor majority. The people work normally and they make infrastructure, but those infrastructure without skilled labor, without machinery, without appropriate engineering technology, without component of bioengineering, they will not have a long-term impact. So SDC find a great opportunity there, together with World Food Program, to finance this quality insurance component. I think that is in, this, in its simplicity uh, the, 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 the value of this uh, uh, partnership. In this new house, which is still under construction, Remat has rebuilt his small world. The training that he got as a result of the project has helped him choose a safer location for rebuilding his house. I had started constructing my house again at the same place as before. 
The training enabled me to learn about safer areas to reconstruct and those which are dangerous. I transferred this knowledge to other villages too. Remat is not the only one whose life has changed as a result of the project. Holding discussions with locals to understand their concerns is a regular feature. This happens in the presence of SDC and WFP staff. Social mobilization is the key for strengthening community-based disaster risk reduction. Heavy rains cause landsliding, flooding and damage of agricultural land. <laughs> Have the check dams and protection walls that you built provided any help? We are happy that last year, thanks to plantation and building check dams, the situation has been much better. So overall, if you can look at it, a very successful project, which in fact um, affects and impacts the lives of around 30,000 people who live in the Chail Valley. And uh, hopefully it will also be replicated very soon. So far, the project ensured food security for 35,000 people. 4,500 families were provided with job opportunities. 27,000 cubic meters of structural work was completed. 200,000 multi-purpose plants were used for bioengineering measures. The mountainous ecosystem of the Chale Valley is now protected and has become more resilient to future flash floods and landslides. In this regard, there is good reason for Ramit and his family to look optimistically into the future. <laughs>